So the year is 1986, and eight is a dead sentence until one clinical trial proves that a lab reject can save lives in just 16 weeks. In the 1980s, about 35,000 Americans were dying each year from AIDS. There were no antivirals or any sort of therapy that could prevent this. But that was before Dr. Samuel Broder at the NIH and Dr. Margaret Fischel at the University of Miami decided to dust off the abandoned cancer drug, which was known as AZT, and realized that this drug could kill HIV in vitro or in a test tube. They recruited 282 patients with advanced AIDS and performed a randomized double-blind trial. During this trial, these patients were going to get AZT every four hours versus a placebo group which was not going to get this drug. This study was planned for 24 weeks but with a 16-week interim look period, which means they were going to check what was happening after 16 weeks. In those 16 weeks, they recorded 19 people who died on the placebo, which means there were 19 people in the trial who didn't take this drug who died, and just one person who took the drug who died, and the cause of death was by pneumonia. Within the 16-week period, they recorded 19 deaths for those who were on the placebo and just one death for the person who was on AZT. Pneumonia cases within the group who took the medication were also cut by half. And when an independent board saw this astonishing result, they decided to unblind the study because they thought it was unethical to keep the patients who needed this drug on a placebo when clearly AZT was showing a lot of promise. While the study was still going on, the data was shared with the FDA. And on March 19, 1987, only 20 months after dosing the first patient with AZT, it became the first approved antiviral HIV drug in the world. Then came the debate on how to subsidize the $10,000 price tag. But there were a lot of critics. There were a lot of people who called the study too small or too short. And there were a lot of patients who feared that the side effects of AZT, which at that time was anemia. And Dr. Broder responded with a larger follow-up study and also a combination of therapy plans, which laid down the groundwork for what we know today as HIV's cocktails. AZT didn't cure AIDS, but it proved antivirals could. And without those 16 weeks, we might not have the triple therapy that lets millions of people live full lives today. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to learn more about how scientists around the world and around the country save lives every day.